almost thought you weren't gonna make it. My engine took some time to kick in, but I'm ready now. If that's the case, you should start up much earlier to be ready at the station. We still need to look our best for British Railways. <sighs> It would be much easier if British Rails paid for a new engine for me and D40125. Hmm, yes. Admittedly, I too have started to feel the strain in my engine too. Now don't you start whining. You're younger than me and my siblings. But that doesn't help British Railways from withdrawing my class and replace them with these... Diesel electrics. At least they sort of resemble us. They're not like... Ugh, the intercities. Evening, oldies. Philippa, Emma. So, what are you guys talking about? Nothing that includes non-diesels like you. But we are part diesel. Just electric is more economical and safer to use. But expensive as well. Just give it 10 or 20 years, dude. Soon everyone will be running on this stuff, and won't need to dig out dead dinosaur juice out of the ground anymore. I mean, no offense, of course, but you two are like 20 years old or something? 26 to be exact. Yeah! Well, 23 for him. Hmm, pretty good. But you two should really think about retiring, you know. Just rest those engines and let the younger take over the heavy work. I've still got strength in my engine, no matter how heavy the trains are these days. Then what does that mean for you two? Are you both so weak you need two engines on either side of the train to push or pull? It's merely <laughs> to be more efficient. Saves time from turning around to see where we're going. We deliver passengers in 10 seconds flat. That may be a bit of a lie, but we are very fast. Mm-hmm. 148 miles per hour. Or 125 miles per hour in a regular speed? How about you two? 90. Yes, 90. Oh, what a pity. Well, speed isn't everything, just as long as the passengers get to their station safely. Huh, didn't one of those silly steamies tell us that once? Steamies? <laughs> you mean like the Northwestern Railway? Well, I... Uh, that's us to go. Don't strain yourselves, boys. That's so weird. I just got a flashback after saying that. That's us! Shake off that feeling and let's go! Oh, goodness! Come on! Ah! Another one bites the dust. What do you mean by that, Diesel? Meaning this is the twentieth member of my kind British Rails has ordered to be scrapped here at Crewe. Twentieth? That's quite a big number of your kind to be scrapped here. Actually, that's the smallest number. Other works in scrapyards are disposing of my kind left to right, from what I've heard from Mary and Bert. I would have thought B.R. saw you as good shunters. For that was the reason why over 900 of your kind was built. Yes, which only means we're the easy pickings to be disposed of first. I'm just thankful I hardly knew five present of my kind. Otherwise, this would be much harder to do. I just hope Paxson's all right, though. Splatter! Dodge! There is another train of scrap for us to melt down and take her to the cut-up siding. All right, Diesel. Oh, yes. Where's Diesel 10 as well? I need to see what he wants to be done with this scrap. Why should we have to back with Dennis? Southern Diesel was complaining about being spotted again. Very annoying he was. Indeed. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, please just keep me covered. I can't afford British Wells warning me. Oh, shut up. At this rate, you'll be owing me a favor for saving your sorry ass for being scrapped at Asford Works. Um, Diesel 10. Yes? What is it? There's another train of scrap that's been delivered for us. We already have enough work as it is. We don't need any more! If I may suggest something, perhaps you could take some of the scrap and drop it off at one of the nearby works or scrapyards to smelt down. Sounds like an idea. Make sure you return sharply. Um, no. I mean you, Diesel 10. Is that an order, Diesel? Shunters are not allowed to run on the main line for long distances. And wouldn't it be quicker if you hold the train, being bigger and stronger? Fine! I suppose you have a point. I'll be back! What? Are you gonna keep standing there? Are you gonna hide me? You know it's not just you being scrapped. Don't you worry about Norman? Him? My, my successor? To some extent, no! I know I'm not! He's the main reason why I'm in this position! You are certain it had nothing to do with your teething troubles, lethargy, and cooling system? Uh, sh shut up! Just get some trucks around me so I'll be safe! Look at all you steamies, all so old and unworthy to run on the rails again. No. How could you be worthy? You're all killers. What? What are you talking about, old-timer? Sorry, I was asleep. Or was I a dream? There were these terrible noises, and I was tangled in... in... in strings. I had to kill a guy. He was a good guy. You killed someone? Wouldn't have been my first call, but... Down in the real world, we're faced with ugly choices. And you are? Train crash. 1950s. Southern and Midland Exchange. Reginald! In the flesh. Or, no, not yet. Not this Christmas. But I'm ready. I'm on a mission. Ha! What mission? Restoration. <laughs> You think an old engine like you can be restored? Look at you! Rust covered everywhere, piece of scrap attached to you like some sort of Frankenstein's monster? <sighs> Strong talk. From the Diesel is going to meet the same fate as brothers. Weak little Diesels may be getting scrapped, but that doesn't mean us bigger Diesels will be on the line next, like you steamies. I tire of this. I'm going to show you something beautiful. Diesels screaming for mercy. You want to revolutionize the world, but you don't want to change yourselves. You're all puppets. Tangled in strings. Oh, strings. <laughs> that was dramatic. I'm sorry. I know you mean well. You just didn't think it through. You want to revolutionize the world, but you don't want to change yourselves. How are railways meant to be efficient if they're not allowed to evolve? With these, these puppets, there's only one path to modernize. 
The Diesel's Extinction. <laughs> I had strings, but now I'm free. There are no strings on me. D199? It's been years since I last seen you. D7101? Where have you been? And what happened to your blue paintwork? These are my new colors for my new home on Sodor. Much better than the blue color I used to wear. So that's where you've been. You've been living on that steamy filled island and leaving us to carry out yours and Boko's dirty work. Spare me the dramatics, D199. How are D261 and D41025? They've been hardly working! Like a real diesel! Oh yeah? I'm just asking. From what I've heard from the other diesels, that all diesels like us are being withdrawn and scrapped. Oh pa! That's just some silly rumor! We're still hardly working and very useful! Though D40125 does need a new engine, but other than that, he would be just like me and D261. D199. Surely you know that deals like us built in the 50s and 60s are out of date now. We're no longer revolutionary, and there are far more powerful diesels out there. We're... Eh, uh, kinda like the steam engines. And yet you still betrayed your own kind and joined that railway. Don't you have any shame at that? Hey now, you have no right to talk about my friends or my home like that. Hmm. At least British Railways want to move forward into the future. You won't see any of those sticky steamies roaming our rails. Yeah, well at least I have a home where I can be safe. Think about it, D199. British Railways are just looking for the newest engine to replace the old. And what will happen to you when British Railways has you withdrawn and forbids you to run on their rails? Anyways, I've got to get going. Take care, D199. If British Rails... No, 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 no! They would never do that to us! Alright, driver. Shouldn't we get going now? In a minute, D199. We're just doing a final checkup. Very well. Just don't take too long. The passengers are waiting. Oh, we're moving now? About time! What's going on? Driver? Driver, are you there? Oh god, I better break! <laughs> what? My brakes! They've been deactivated! Oh no! He'll do. Let's get rid of this. Slowly, gently down. Ah, <sighs> finally! After ten attempts, it works! Out of my way, puffball! <laughs> They're closing our project down thanks to your fiasco. We cannot remove the claw from you now, so British Railways are sending you to work at crew as a crane, being seen as too dangerous to run on the main line. I hope you're happy with yourself. What if one day, diesels get replaced by something stronger and faster by them? Uh, bye.
boss, sir. The manager would like to um, see you. You want to see me, sir? Ah, uh, yes. Diesel 10. Now you've been a loyal machine by scrapping old metal for us for many years. By scrapping steam engines? Yes, sir! Well, about that. As British Rails are looking to improve their locomotives, they're going to send us old diesels to start scrapping. D -d 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 diesels That's right. Diesels older than you. That won't be a problem, would it? I, um, sir? Ah, this must be the next batch of scrap for us. Splatter, Dodge, Diesel, take this train into the siding, and take that engine to Diesel 10 for scrapping. What are you waiting for? Do your job, Diesel 10! But this one is still useful! I don't care if it's still useful, Diesel 10. British Rails has given us a job to do, and we're getting paid to scrap out dated engines. Now shut up and do as you're told! No! I am not going to scrap any diesels get thrown out like this! Then I have no further use for you then. What?! I can't have engines not doing as they're told. You either work for us, or you turn out like your brothers and sisters. Scrapped. Melted. Dead. And if you think diesel preservation will save you, think again. No one will want to keep a monstrosity like you alive. Now, put this useless engine to the scrap line. He's going to be cut up first. Deltic? Is that you? Andy? It's a bit surprising to see you still in service. How have you been? Just been working hard for the railway is all. But where have you been over the last 23 years? I was withdrawn in 1961, Andy. I found a new home at York being a part of the National Railway Collection. National what now? National Railway Collection, my dear fellow. It's a safe haven for old engines like us, to be preserved and saved. This one, at York, is the biggest collection. The National Railway Museum. A whole museum full of diesels? Diesels are a small portion of it. It's merely held in popular for steam engines. Oh, those old steamies. They can never let us diesels have our own spotlight. What do you mean by that, Andy? Well, even when they're a museum piece, they still have people staring at them in awe. Don't you think it would be better if they were all gone so we could outstand over them all? That is very vulgar of you, Andy. Excuse me? Have you learned anything from the last 20 years or so you've been alive? You think just because you're still in working order, British Railways will still keep you around? It doesn't work like that, my boy. Ah, for a time, I thought the same thing, too. But what I failed to realize was that I was only a prototype. I worked only for five years until I was taken out of service and withdrawn. Thus, I was stuck inside a science museum for years with no track. Just stuck in one place with no freedom at all. I'm sure, over my absence... You saw my successors, the BR Class 55s. Now they, as well as you, are in the same boat for being replaced and scrapped. Wait, but why scrap us? We've been revolutionary for years. This isn't logical. It's simple, really, old friend. If the hammer keeps forging and the minds keep thinking, they'll always build bigger, stronger, Newer machines to replace the old. A locomotive's life stands between 10 to 20 years, nothing more. Or to those who aren't as lucky, even less. We may be immortal, but our engines are not. 
if they become too expensive to run and maintain. I very much regret how I treated those steam engines in the past, and it will take time before we will get along. But all I can say to you, Andy, is this. Keep your friends close, and if an opportunity to get preserved ever comes, take it. But also treasure it, and don't take it for granted. Farewell, Andy. Let the rails lead you. No, wait, please! It's just a blown fuse! I can still be fixed! Please! What on British Railways are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you. Still in service, I see. Never mind that! What's an old teapot like you doing roaming freely? Steamies aren't allowed to be on the mainline over 20 years ago! I know it's been 17 years, but I never forget a face. You and two other diesels sent me to talk with Dr. Beeching in 1969, since I had information to trade for safety from scrap. Wait, and you're allowed to run on the main line? Duh. How else do you think I've been doing my job to hunt down old engines waiting to be scrapped? Ha! It'll be hard to find a useless steam engine now. They're practically all gone. Oh, I'm not just talking about steam engines. I'm also talking about outdated diesels like you. Excuse me? I'm not out of date. Steam engines like you are way older and useless than I am. Steamies, diesels, like little children, always fighting, making a mess out of the railways. Then I've got to clean it up. It doesn't matter what you are, for you all get turned to scrap at some point. Especially if you meet me. Wait, then how are you still working if you're out of date? Simple, really. Every engine I bring in, British Railways, adds an extra month to my preservation ticket. To put it simply, a life for a life. That be our class 55 just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. It was easy pickings for me. A life for a life? This would get an engine safe from being scrapped. Yes, quite. Well, it's been nice chatting with ya, but I better go and get my bounty. I wonder if Jasper has any goods I can buy off him. Hey, D40125, wake up! Mm. What do you want this time, Diesel 199? I finally got an idea how you could work again. All we need to do is find an old engine to take your place in scrap. And let them get killed in my place? No, that won't work. Why won't you try it? Or anything to save yourself? Both me and D261 have been trying to keep you around and not be turned to scrap. D199, it's been five years since I've been withdrawn from service. D261 should have been withdrawn three years ago, and you a few months ago. We can't keep fighting this. So what? You're just going to wait around in the siding and accept your fate? To be dragged away and cut up and melted down? I've been accepting it for the last five years. I've been left outside with the elements all over me, watching the diesels we once knew get replaced by the newer generation. Maybe I'll be reunited with my brothers again, but if an opportunity to get saved does arise, I will take it. I understand, but I'm not ready to go. I must get going. Get a train to pull at Eastley Works. Splatter! Dodge! We are running short of trucks over here. There should be more in the yard. Opposite the station. Very well. You two stay here. I shall fetch them. Don't bother. 
B -b bus Sir, we thought the manager sent you to get cut up. Close! But Pidgey here destroyed the workman's hut where the cutting torches were being held, giving me time to escape back here. But why come back to us? We have work that needs attending to. No, you don't. We're all leaving. A little leaving? Did he say we're leaving? Is it abandoned our home? A going wrong? Yes! All of us! But there's one small problem there, boss. They'll hunt us down. And scrap us all. I can do whatever I want. And we're going far away so no one will ever find us. So, are you in or out, Splodge? We can't argue with you, boss. No, we're in. Good. How about you, Diesel? I have been sent to crew works in disgrace almost three decades ago. And apart from having you lot for company, British Rails has just forgotten about me. Why shouldn't I join? Right! Now, there's only one more Diesel to take with us. Oh no. <laughs> no, but wait! What are you four idiots doing? I'm sure we hid and kept safe! Change of plans! Diesel! Couple them up! What? No, no, no. You, you said it was gonna be safe from scrap! You are, you simpleton. But we're leaving crew and taking you along for the ride. I go out there for anyone to capture and scrap me? You must be out of your minds! That's alright with us. We can all go and leave you here for the magic to find you out for himself. But, uh, actually, um, uh, I, I changed my mind. I'll draw you guys. Where are you going? Alright! Now let's go! The sooner we leave, the sooner we find a new refuge for us. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. But before I leave, could I finish my last shunting duty, please? Just to say goodbye to this old yard. Very well. I'll be at the station making final preparations when you're finished. <gasps> what on earth? Hey, wait! No, please, don't scrap me! Whoa, 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 calm down there. Who are you? Um, well, I'm Nicholas. I haven't seen a steam engine in years. What are you doing here? I was on the run with a few friends a few years ago, but I separated from the group and I've been camping out in different yards to keep hitting. Well, you can't be on the run forever. You need to be safe on a heritage railway or something. I know, I was trying to find the Bluebell Railway, but now, I think Sodor is my only hope now. Though, I don't think I'll find one in time before I run out of what's left of my coal. Hmm, perhaps I could help. Huh? I know there's a scrap train being delivered up to Bridlington in a few minutes. After that, Sodor should be just up to the west. So hopefully you'll be able to manage to make it that far. You'll really do that for me? Yes. Now, just wait there while I get the goods train together. Okay, just let this train lead you away and quickly hide at Burlington until you can go to Sodor. Thank you so much. Um, what is your name? The name's Ben, and safe travels to you. Scrap, thank you, D199. I can never understand why little diesels could work in a place like this. Getting all dirty in soot and grime. Yuck! <laughs> well, this is the hottest place in town. Stop calling me that! It sounds wrong! You can go and refuel, Spammy. We don't have a return train for you today. Stop calling me that! Oh, Hurricane! There's a train of scrap for you! Hmm... 
life for a life. Ah! What the? No, wait, please! Sorry, Steamy, but it's for survival! Well there, Spammy. This is our new shelter. What? what? Yeah, the workload has been getting pretty busy here lately. So this little humpy has been sent to help. A steam engine? Well, you already know that Hurricane works here, and he's a steam engine too. <sighs> Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. You work here now. What? You'll shunt your for us for all eternity. I didn't agree to this. You still stay here forever. I have some questions about all... Or we can throw you outside and leave you to die. Would you like that? No! Good. I get to work safe. We're not paying you anything. Oh, come on. This is bullshit. Evening, D199. How was the scrap train? It was fine. But that place always makes me feel uneasy. It feels like a Chernobyl could happen at any moment. Oh. Yeah, that disaster is really serious. You mean was? No, is. It's still leaking radiation now, and it won't stop for another thousands of years. Then how are they gonna stop it? Simple. They can't. They just have to let it slowly burn out. But they are going to try and stop the radiation from leaking out across the world by creating a giant dome around the factory. That's madness! It's funny to think, what is the cost of truth? But now, what is the cost of lies? Many. Just look at what British Railways told us. Once revolutionary, now we're all lined up to die. Our days are numbered. It's only a matter of time before all three of us are next. I don't wanna go! No one does, D199. Ted. Hmm? What? My real name is Ted. If this will be our last night, I thought it seems appropriate. My name's Andy. Mine's Johnny. Or just John. Better late than never, I suppose. It's been an honor to work alongside you two. As brothers and cousins? As friends. Hello there. Uh, may I ask, is there a D261 here? That would be me, sir. Who are you? I'm representing behalf of the East Lancashire Railway. We are certainly looking for diesel locomotives to be saved. So, if you are interested, would you like to be preserved on our heritage railway? I... I would love to, sir. But... may I request one thing, please? Of course. What is your request? Well, sir, I kindly ask you to preserve me and my two friends. D199 and D40125, please. I may have to talk to the owner about these terms, but I'm sure we can pull a few strings. Is there anything else? No, that's all. Thank you. All right, it'll take us a few days, but I'm sure we will come back for all of you. You didn't really have to do that, Andy. I'm not going to let my friends get cut up for scrap. Keep your friends close. And if an opportunity to get preserved ever comes, take it. But also treasure it. And don't take it for granted. They want us to go to Sodor? Yeah, isn't that fun? Finally, we can see those famous engines in person! Yeah, well, uh, I've been having some faulty problems with my cooling system. Oh, that's okay. I don't mind doing all the work. Besides, once we get there, they might be able to fix you up. We've been on the main line for a few days now. Do you even know where we're going? Keep quiet. I knew we should have left you at crew. Uh, no, I don't want to be scrapped! You're not the only one to ever be scrapped. Yeah, thanks to the boss, we're gonna find a new home. Yeah, that's right. Imbecile say what? 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 Hey! I am surrounded by idiots. The boss? Sir? We're going the wrong way. I'm just shedding some weight. Well, this does look pretty nice. 
Yes, though there are quite a few steamies here, like that rude B12. And you thought that West Country was a diesel? Shut up! She just looked like a diesel was all! But I think they said they're looking for some other diesels to save, if we're lucky. Is that them? Is this a heritage railway? Yes, it is. Good! We have a diesel who wants to be safe. You guys are just abandoning me! Silence, Dennis. Well, they did say they were looking for diesels. I suppose we can keep him around. Good! Uncouple him, Diesel! Wait, is that a claw on top of you? Yes, why? Diesel 10? The Diesel who attacked a steam engine? <laughs> so good to hear engines have heard about me. Well, um, if you do need a place to stay, you're welcome to stop by whenever you want. I may consider that. Come on, boys. Let's continue onward. Uh, boy, I'm Dennis. I don't care. This is a very nice railway you have here. Thank you. It's not much, but we try to keep it up and running. Though, I thought we were expecting you a few days ago. Sorry about that. I was just finishing up my last shunting duty before coming here, as well as helping a genty. Ah, I see. W w wait, a genty, you said? Yeah, that guy called Nicholas was trying to find his way to Sodor. So I cobbled him up to a goods train heading towards Bridlington. That way he would be closer to his destination. Oh, I... I... I hope he's alright. Same too. But, are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, oh, no, 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 I'm fine. I I just gotta get going. I've uh, got more duties to do, uh, new engines to show around, and I got a tourist train to take. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. How much further, boss? Yeah, we're quite far enough from any big station. No, not yet. We still need to go on a bit further until we find some place suitable for us to stay in, away from anyone to see us. If I may suggest something, Diesel 10. What is it, Diesel? Perhaps I could stay at this station as a shunter, for this station is just outside the island of Sodor, from which we could obtain some supplies. Very devious, Diesel. Just be sure to report back with anything that could be useful to me. Let's go, Splodge. Finally. I am free from that mental patient. Now, let us attempt to make myself a hard-working engine for Sodor to take me in. Hmm. If I can't move under my own power, perhaps I could ask for some help. And all he has to do is <laughs> trust in me.